Here's a debate starter. If cruising altitude is supposedly optimal, why do planes almost never cruise at the same height twice? What's really forcing them up or down? Different aircraft have different limits. A 787 or A350 can sit at 40,000 feet. A 737 or A320 usually can't. And right after takeoff, every aircraft is too heavy to climb high. The wings need denser air for lift, and the engines need more oxygen. Storms, turbulence layers, jet streams, they all reshape the vertical profile. Tailwinds might push a flight higher, strong headwinds might push it lower. Pilots are constantly threading the atmosphere for the smoothest, fastest lane. And even if the perfect altitude exists, air traffic control might block it. Too much traffic at that level? You wait. Military airspace active? Reroute. So flights climb in steps, burning fuel, getting lighter, and chasing better efficiency as they go. So cruising altitude isn't fixed. It's a negotiation between aircraft performance, weather, winds, traffic, and fuel burn. Every flight is a puzzle, and the best altitude is whatever ticks the most boxes for that journey.